Hi, welcome back to the I'm Ready Test Kitchen. Today I'm going to make some mocha eclairs. I'm going to fill them with mocha pastry cream and I'm going to use Amoretti's Cappuccino Tiramisu Compound. These are a little smaller than the ones you would normally see in a bakery, but I like them this size because they're a lot easier to eat. They're great for entertaining or tea, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is to make the dough. It's called a pat of choux. So I'm going to start with this. this butter in. Sometimes you need five eggs and sometimes you need four eggs with this recipe. It just depends on the humidity and it might vary every time you make it. So I have four eggs in a glass dish and then I have one extra egg that's beaten here and we'll see how it goes. We may need a little bit and we might not. All right, so let's boil this. So this is boiling now. So now I'm going to add all of the flour. This is one cup of flour, so just pop all of that in there. So I'm going to stir until this is completely incorporated. So this looks to be pretty good. Now I'm going to put it back on the heat, but it's going to be a very low heat. And it's just going to be for about a minute or two. All right, so this is done and it's nice dough that has come together and now we're going to beat it with the eggs. So let's get this in the mixing bowl. Okay. So I'm just going to add the eggs one at a time. Okay, so here are a couple of ways you can tell whether you need to add more egg. So you can draw a line if you want right through the dough and if it's stays if the sides don't cave in then you know your dough is ready. I think that this one is not quite ready so we'll add just a little bit. That's fine and we'll see how this goes. So let me look at this and this looks great. So I don't think we need to add any more egg. We'll scrape this off and I'll put it in a piping bag and we can pipe it onto our sheet pan. So I'm going to pipe these and it's best if you can keep your tip a little bit above the paper instead of holding it onto it and dragging it. You'll have a much better shape and you have much more control. The idea is not to have a tail at the end of your eclairs, but if you do, I'm going to show you how to fix them. You simply put a little tiny bit of water on your hand and dab the end and smooth it. All right, these are ready to be baked. I'm going to bake them in a 450 oven for eight minutes and then I'll transfer it to a 400 oven for 15 minutes. All right, so while our pat -a is baking, I am going to make the filling. Now I have some pastry cream here and a little bit of whipped cream. And we are going to add Amoretti's Cappuccino Tiramisu Compound, which is fabulous. So I'm just going to combine these two. So this is just plain whipped cream. There's no sugar in it. There's no vanilla. I'm just going to fold them together. All right, so I'm going to add two tablespoons of the Cappuccino Tiramisu Compound. It is freeze-thaw stable. Great for baking, a lot of uses, no alcohol, no chemicals, all natural flavors. So I have fitted my pastry bag with something called a Bismarck tip, and it's uh, a funny shape, very pointed, but it makes filling eclairs much easier. Also, if you're filling donuts, it's a great tip for that. So that's what I'm using. But if you don't have one, you can use any small rounded tip and just poke a hole in your eclair with the tip before you fill it. All right, so these have cooled and now it's time to fill them. So you can poke a hole at the end of your eclair or on the bottom, however you wanna do it. Uh, I like doing it from the bottom because then it doesn't show quite as much. All right, so now I'm going to dip these beautiful eclairs in our espresso mocha ganache, which is wonderful. And I have just put a little bit in the microwave. 
All right, I'm going to stripe these with a little bit of white chocolate that I have in a bag. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you decide to make this recipe, please take a picture and tag us on social media. You can reach out to us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Amaretti. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any recipes or discounts or giveaways. See you next time.